Yo, what's up guys? Trevor Waskovitsky here. In today's video, we are going over Swift Soul iOS app. So I'm going to show you guys kind of how I use it, how to use the harvesters, because I know when I go live, I do see a lot of people asking, and I see the common questions about um, Swift Soul, and I think this will be a really good video. I, I'm not super experienced, but I have hit with it, and I'm learning it, and I read their guides. So we will kind of pull up the guides that they provide too, and kind of walk through it. So let's go ahead and head over to the phone so you guys can see. All right, so we are on the home screen here. From here, you can see everything. You can see where I'm touching. Here's task, here's proxies, here's profiles, and here's settings. So when we're here, let's go to the task page to start off. Home will show you what you've actually checked out and everything. So here in task, we hit the top right hand corner. We can hit create task, and we can click on say we want the accessories. These are pre-made. And now we can select sizes, color, profile, all this, and manual start time. Now you can hit custom as well and start it whenever you would like. So if you want to start it at 8, 10, or 8, 11, 8, 10, whenever, and by the seconds. But we're not going to do that for this one. We're going to go back. We're going to do manual, save task. Task is created. We're going to go back. From here, we're going to go back again, open this, make sure you start your harvester. Now your tickets are going to start harvesting. When the tickets are harvesting, this is basically to solve CAPTCHAs. This will allow you to solve CAPTCHAs. Another thing you want to do is add your Gmail. Add the Gmail. Now your Gmails are in. Now you can solve the CAPTCHAs. Now once this actually happens, you can start them off. You can do this. Let's delete this task. Let's do this task. And we can start up the BOGO because we know it's not going to hit. Well, we hope it hits. So it's, start, it's looking for a stock. So if it finds one, it will add to cart, and then it'll ask you to solve the CAPTCHA. Once the CAPTCHA is ready, it'll come down to the CAPTCHA harvester down here at the bottom. As you can see, we got the CAPTCHA so down here. Now we're moving on. Let's get our gesture back open. Touch. Now proxies. We can update proxies here. You import your proxies. Just from your IP or your proxy provider will give you this. And you just copy and paste, you throw them right here. Super simple. Next is your profiles. You add your profile, all your billing name, everything you need to do, your apartments, this and that, and then you add the profile. Then you have two profiles. And that's how you can set your task. Cause so like for this one, if I edit my task, we do have profile, indie or home, and it, it that depends on which profile you're talking about. Finally, we have the settings page. Here you can take test your Discord webhooks. This will send over success to your Discord and you can set this up very easy within your Discord to see if you actually hit and they look really cool and nice and you can show your success off. So you can send your webhooks, send notification. If you skip this one, if we skip multi-cart here, let's, let's go ahead and put this back on so you can see. If we skip multi-cart, this will make sure that we don't, um, it'll pass over any items that are already sold out so that you can still uh, check out. A uh, double harvester allows you to solve your captures at two to once background mode will run while you don't even have it open so like once it actually finds a product while in background mode it'll send you an alert to solve a captcha which is amazing um, you got custom delays if you want background mode uh, if you go down here you can test your webhooks manage premium there's guides terms of service there's everything so you literally have everything right here that will help you check out and get you uh, a checkout on supreme so that is all for the guide today. It is very easy. If you have any questions, just let me know. Let's go ahead and back over on the computer. All right, guys, we're jumping back over here to the desktop. I hope you guys did like this guide. It's very easy. Uh, I didn't go super into depth, but I did show you kind of how to do the task. If you do have any questions, please let me know down below. And if you did like the video, please like and subscribe. I hope you do like the new shelves in the back. We got more um, new sound panels are coming in. I'm going to set up today once I'm done with this video. But yeah, we're coming along, and I, I appreciate all of you guys that are subscribed and are supporting. You guys mean a lot. I am out of here for this one. Peace.